Learning to Reflect A learning module for the Computing Project Graduate Course Comp 8715 by Tom Worthington, Fellow of the Australian Computer Society and the Higher Education Academy, Honorary Senior Lecturer in the Research School of Computer Science at the Australian National University. This learning module is designed to help you with the last task in your project course, the Work Portfolio Package. Wattle Site On the Wattle Site you will find a set of notes in an electronic book. These contain content intended for instructors, as well as students, to be used in conjunction with online exercises and face-to-face -face workshops. But you don't t have to read all this. You will be prompted by the Wattle system and your instructor as to what to parts to read, when. Learning Outcomes This module is aligned with two of the outcomes for the course. Number 3, learn any specific technical skills required by their topic and apply them to project work. And number 4, apply and deepen skills in oral and written communication and apply these in a project context. Assessment This module has two online quizzes, each 1% of your final grade. Contributions to two discussion forums are each 2%. Two assignments are each 7%. Quizzes. For each quiz you will answer 3 to 5 questions, with multiple choice and short answers. The quizzes are automatically marked by the system. Questions are randomly selected from a question bank, with ordering of multiple choice answers randomized. So don't try asking another student for the answers. Peer feedback. Peer feedback from students in the forums, and the first assignment, will be taken into account in grading by the examiners. Examining the work of others is a useful way to improve your own work. For each forum you will be asked to answer two or three set questions with a few sentences. The questions are listed in the notes at the end of each part. You will then ask to reply to a post by another student. You will also give a rating for your fellow student answers on a scale of 0 to 2. A rubric is provided to help. The instructor will provide a mark for each student, taking into account the student ratings. For each assignment you will be given a question and a marking rubric. After submitting your own answer, for the first assignment, rate three other students' answer using the rubric, and provide feedback. The instructor will review the feedback. The examiner will then allocate 90% of the grade for the student's work and 10% for their feedback. For the last assignment you are not required to rate or provide feedback. Course Schedule The course consists of two parts, one topic per part, with one quiz, forum, and assignment for each part one learn identify the skills you have what you require and how to acquire them the assignment task is to address a typical set of selection criteria for a position part two report and reflect you deepen skills in oral and written communication the assignment task is to prepare an application for a real position revising the responses to selection criteria from the previous assignment communication platform this module uses the ANU Wattle system for communication. This includes the dialogue tool for one-to-one -one communication, the forum tool for group communication and discussion, the quiz tool for quizzes, and the workshop tool for the first assignment. Workshops A 50-minute workshop will be held for each of the two topics. Please note this is not a lecture, it is a hands-on, face-to-face, on-campus activity. Read the notes and readings for topic, complete the quiz, Post your answers to the forum, and start work on the assignment, before attending. Bring along your answers to the forum questions, and your draft for the next assignment. Be prepared to express your view of the quality of the work of your fellow students. There are no marks awarded for the workshops. Learning to be a professional. This module is more than just doing assignments to pass a course. The carefully designed series of exercises are to help you to develop capabilities expected of working professionals, to identify your development needs, how to acquire these skills, and to reflect on what you have learned. This is something you will need to do throughout your professional career.